Wow, what a place to live. What a place to ride. And today we've got four passes, five and a half thousand feet, one battery, two riders, and no clues. It wouldn't be a late district ride either without a bit of rain, would it? Join us on our epic ride through some Lakeland giants, a titan of World Cup downhill racing, Adam Brayton. Known as the Keswick Kestrel or Gaster Flat, the Hope Factory rider is one of the finest in the business. He's also a local of this area. Five and a half thousand feet, one battery, full breakfast, and uh, as we've just found out, it's pointless having a Mustang GT in the garage if you've not got a sensor on your e-bike. I've got my sensor now, Steve, chill out. But here we are. Greatest e-viking place in the world. Right. It's hard to believe that the uh, glaciers carved this out for us. And oh, here we are. Come on, this is a geology <laughs> lesson. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh! Ryan, just trying to get around your mindset here. That's going to be 1,400 feet to the top. That is climb one. We've got three climbs to do before lunch. How far do you reckon that battery can go before it flats? Well, I'm hoping I can do the whole ride. That's my plan. I'm still in eco mode. What, in, in, on one charge? One charge. We've got five and a half thousand feet to do. <laughs> this is Adam Brayton. <laughs> so I reckon, so you're pretty fit then? I'm pretty fit, I'm in good nick. Yeah. You know, let's, yeah, put them there. Money where my mouth is, eh? This very spot brings back some memories. When was it? Were you here last? Yeah, good memories here, 2011. Cover shot. Middle of summer, first, I, first dirt cover shot. I think I do remember you going down extremely hard over the bars here. Yeah, that was early on in the shoot <laughs> as well, probably, eh? First shot and yeah. already in bits. Hey, but we're here we are, right? Now, so we're at the top of Fleetwith. We're gonna go down into Buttermere, which is a hell of a descent, right? Yeah, it's And gnarly. then we're going over Scarf Gap, which is over there, correct? Yeah. And then, we could have got up over those two as well. Yeah. And that's only three climbs done. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm already down one bar. Oh dear. Hey, this green stuff's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely green slate. This is actually all just a waste of it. Was this like build, building stone here as well? Nah, this is good for nothing, hence why it's mountains of it up here. You were rattling on about St Paul's Cathedral earlier. Yeah, I believe this slate is on St Paul's Cathedral, so all right. it must be good. God, he's full of it, isn't he? Full he's of full, it. He's full of the geology talk. <laughs> I tell you what, Steve, I'm actually scared of heights. Oh, you're scared of heights? Honestly, I'm not. Or drunk. Mr. Gas to Flat is scared of heights? Yeah. Did you see how high you're going in a hard line? I know, higher than anyone. But <laughs> I'm alright when I'm on a bike. I tell you what's scared of me is we seem to be going from green slate to like a grippier granite, and it's really freaking me out. I can't tell when I'm going to be sliding or not. Well, don't be fooled by this next bit because from here it looks alright, but believe you and me, it gets nasty. Look at that. Look at that beautiful trail. That's flat out, right? Absolutely. Wow. So we've got haystacks, and what have we got over there? Red pike. 
Yeah, looking yeah towards Red Pike, and then we're going through Scarth Gap. Look how steep that is. You, how much of that do you reckon we're going to ride? Um, I'd like to think at least eighty percent. I mean, look at it. You look from here. It looks look pretty steep. <laughs> That's going to use some bars. I can tell you. I've got to say, Adam, you live in an amazing place. Doesn't get much better, does it? Wow, better me. Beautiful. However, <laughs> bottom of Scarf Gaff climb, uh, bottom of the second climb of the day, uh, I've got two bars down. I'm only one bar down. Really? I'm keeping it in eco. That's and one... I'll tell you what, yeah. I, I was sneaky on that last descent. Yeah? I turned this thing completely off. Oh, wow. Come on then. Right, Scarf Gap is about 350 metres, so that's over a thousand feet. So this is a much more technical climb than our previous one, and I think because of all those loose stones, you're going to be losing some battery life, I reckon. Yeah, I think you're going to be fighting it a little bit. Definitely going to be some skill involved, and yeah, yeah line choice could actually be crucial. I'm keen to know what you're going to be on at the top of this one. Eco again? I'm going to try my best, see how far Whoa. we get. Yeah, it's going to be a long climb this one. Crikey, halfway to Scarth Gap. That was mostly rideable, right? Yeah, I hate to say it though, Steve. I think we're gonna have to push this next bit. <laughs> that is definitely unrideable. But no, <laughs> little mini struggles and triumphs, we can give it a go, right? Yeah, let's go and have a look. Half hour hell, it wasn't too bad, is it? Nah, I don't think it was that bad actually in the end. Yeah, yeah, weather's closing in though, Adam. Yeah, it's getting rough. Yeah. I'm glad we got this bit of shelter. <laughs> but I tell you what you've done, you've saved some battery there, haven't you? With that, that, that push has probably saved you, it's probably saved you a bar or two on that climb. I'd say at least, yeah. I think, uh, you know, I could almost go into boost for the rest <laughs> of the ride now. Oh, whoa, whoa. hold on, <laughs> hold on. We've now got a descent and another climb and another descent before we hit lunch and it's now two o'clock. Yeah, time's pressing on. So I reckon we, we're going to hit to lunch at like half three. I'd say, yeah, we're under a bit of pressure now. A little bit, yeah. Uh, but I don't know, I reckon I'm going to need some charge. <laughs> Puncture. That happens when you try and keep up with me. <laughs> well, here we are then, the beautiful Airedale. Weather's closed in. River Lisa underneath us. Oh, it's getting a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm we wet. Oh, we've still got Scott. Uh, Black Sail Pass to do. Uh, another puncture on the descent into Airedale has, has put us back on time. Uh, now halfway up Black Sail Pass, uh, I'm cold, I'm wet, slightly miserable, I'm glad he's laughing, I'm in a ditch, uh, we are, we're at three o'clock, um, we're going to get to Wasdale, so we've got the rest of this pass to do, a big descent, yeah. Wasdale head and then a big climb, a big climb at the end of the day, it's three o'clock Brayton, three o'clock. Yeah, we're not doing good eh? We're not doing good at all. It could be dangerous once we get to Wasdale Head. I think uh, if we get our feet up there. Yeah, but we need to be out of Wasdale. At, we need to be out of Wasdale at what? Four thirty tops, right? I'd say yeah. Okay. Well, we need to get a. We need to get a. We need to get a crack on. Yeah, let's get moving. But this is really, really quite far more technical than I thought it would be. Uh, loads of rocks, scree to climb up, and um, yeah. But there again, you're going to check these things out, right? Absolutely. Yeah.
Well, the day has proved slightly more challenging than we had hoped for. Nevertheless, we have arrived at the Wasdale Head Inn. We've covered 1,200 metres of climbing, done three passes. We've done Fleetwith, we've done Scarth Gap, and we've done that killer, which was Black Sail. So here we are. Uh, it's now quarter to five, <laughs> and we've got one more big pass to do. A big and, one. Uh, what we're looking on battery status. Well, I'm currently got three bars, so I'm doing all right. Three bars is gonna, it's touch and go, right? No, um, I don't think so. I think I can go on this comfortably <laughs> trail mode. I'm gonna leave you lot and I'm getting back to that hotel first. <laughs> so obviously Adam's on a 500 watt hour Shimano battery. I'm on a 704 watt hour uh, specialized battery. And I'm down to about four, 35, 40%. So I reckon I've still got a 1500 foot climb in the tank. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? We're going to go back out there into the mist and rain uh, for more struggles and triumphs. That's it. Yeah, it's so good <laughs> to be here though and have some fire to, to have a bit of a dry out. If not, I tell you what, if we'd not had this, we'd been in serious Oh yeah, big troll. Yeah. yeah, so this has done us good and we've regrouped and yeah. ready for another go. Right, three minutes past six. We're at the top of Stihead Pass. We've achieved our climbs for the day. Five, just over 5,000 feet of climbing. Well, fair dues. Uh, however, we've only got about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of daylight left. Maximum. Uh, so we've got to get the hell off this mountain. But quickly, let's have a look at the battery check on your bike, uh, Brayton. Two bars. So a 500 watt hour battery has done over 5,000 feet day out in the Lake District and the Levo, which is a 700 watt hour battery, I'm down to three bars. Obviously I'm heavier than you and I've been riding trail mode most of the day. You've been in eco, right? Yeah. All day? No. Nah. All day. No, you haven't. Have. No, you haven't. <laughs> You've been in trail as well. True as I stand here, I have been in eco the whole way. Living proof of what CrossFit does to you. I am a machine. <laughs> Well, we made it back, albeit in the dark, but an iconic route conquered. Four passes, 5,000 feet, and almost 25 miles of riding. A little bit more than your estimated 10 miles, Brayton. Yeah, I got that a little bit wrong, didn't I? <laughs> but what, so, you know, some classic mountains, like, you know, Scarfell, Great Gable, Haystacks. Oh, we were in the thick of the, the giants of the Lake District, really. Yeah, and it's just such an amazing place to ride an e-bike. Um, we wrote mostly, we went to prove that on one battery, we could, each of us, I mean, I'm 94 kilos, you are... 70 kilos. So we can go on a big, big ride together and still do it in a day. And it was a day, right? Absolutely, yeah. No, I, you know, I didn't expect it to be that long, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so there you go, seven hours out in the Lake District, uh, some technical uh, climbing, the descending though. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, if you want to do technical descending, yeah. a route like that is next level, right? Yeah, definitely, I'd say, Definitely not for the inexperienced. No, I mean, you, you've ridden, you know, pretty much every single World Cup track on the circuit. I, you know, there's some big rocks in some of those circuits. Yeah. But up there, on that descent off Stihead? <laughs> Nothing compares to that. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. I know, it's just relentless rock for how, how long? 20 minutes? I'd say at least, yeah. yeah. Just load it up, hang on, 
You're into the deep end. Yeah. But you know what? I think what I've learned from one thing from this from this trip is I think my next trip I'd actually like to ride the whole route feet up. So I think that requires a little bit more research, right? And um, I'm going to rely on you to do that. <laughs> I better get my map out. Because there's a great network of bridleways here, which will enable us to do that. Definitely. I mean, just over there, Skiddo. What do you call it? Skidder. Skidder. How many times? <laughs> 3,000 feet. Yeah. Maybe our next challenge? Absolutely. I'm up for it. And Hell Valley? Just over south. there. There's plenty to go up, Brayton. Yeah. Endless. So there you go. If you want to see uh, more, uh, videos of these great adventures. Check out the Into the Wild, Into the Wild, which we did with uh, Hannah Barnes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to EMBN. Brayton, uh, time to get a coffee, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm glad we joined after yesterday. <laughs> uh, don't forget to leave your comments on uh, these adventure videos. Uh, give us a thumbs up. See you next time.